Welcome to the March webinar on Wikia's content copyright. I'm Sarah Manley, a community manager here at Wikia, and I'm super excited to have Timothy Vollmer of Creative Commons here today to chat with us about the Creative Commons licenses and Wikia's specific license, CC by SA. So you might be wondering, why are we dedicating a whole webinar to this topic? And it's because we think it's important that all Wikians understand what happens to the content they contribute. So let's start with the basics. Copyright is defined by Wikipedia as a legal concept that gives the copyright holder the right to be credited for the work to determine who may adapt the work to other forms and who may perform the work and who may financially benefit from it and other related rights. In essence, it is a way for someone to protect the work that they make and make profit from this piece of work. This can be applied but isn't limited to art, music, and writing. The author can get legal control of where their work is used and by who and can receive financial gain. As a contributor to Wikia, it's important for you to understand how the content you contribute is copyrighted and what can and can't happen to this content. The important areas to understand are our terms of use and licensing, where and how your content can be used, and what can be added to Wikia. In order to create an account on Wikia, you must agree to our terms of use. This agreement states that all written content on Wikia is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike License, known in short as CC by SA. Wikia chose this license when we began to help support the availability of free knowledge that can be used and shared by anyone. This license applies to all texts you contribute and states that the text can be reused and freely distributed as long as proper attribution is given. In the upcoming slides, Tim will walk us through the details of this license and exactly what these terms mean. How does this apply to the text that you might import or images that you might add? If you're importing text, it needs to be compatible with the CC by SA license and follow any other stipulations set by its license. If you're adding images, we strongly recommend that you use images that are public domain or freely licensed. We also recommend that you cite where the image comes from, who created it, and what its specific copyright is. This is one area you may want to create a policy about on your wiki, so that other users are encouraged to add the same copyright information to the images. So in this webinar, Tim is going to introduce to us what Creative Commons does, the types of licenses they offer, and will walk us through all the details of CC by SA, the license that's used by Wikia. He will also take questions at the end, so be sure to submit them. All right, so take it away, Tim. Hi, uh, well thanks to everyone for joining us on the webinar and thank you so much to Sarah for inviting me to share with you a little bit about Creative Commons. Uh, I'm policy coordinator at CC and we're based in the San Francisco Bay Area. And here's a brief overview of what we'd like to cover today. First I can talk about what Creative Commons actually is and how it works. Then we'll list some of the big users of Creative Commons licenses and tools. Next, we can jump into some of the specifics of all the Creative Commons licenses. And we can look particularly at the licenses that you're all most interested in, which is CC by SA. And then finally, we'll have some time for our Q&A at the end. So first off, let's step back and talk about what CC is. So Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization and we have about 30 employees around the world. We also have an international network of affiliates in over 70 countries. And we work towards helping users realize the full potential of the internet, which is, in our opinion, universal access to research and education and full participation in culture online. And the mission of Creative Commons is to develop, support, and really steward the legal and technical infrastructure that maximizes digital creativity and sharing. And by legal and technical infrastructure, we mean that Creative Commons offers a suite of free copyright licenses 
that give everyone from individual creators all the way up to large companies a really simple standardized way that they can keep their copyright while at the same time allowing certain uses of their work. And Creative Commons licenses make sharing creativity on the web work, both legally and at the gigantic scale of the web. But you may be asking yourself, you know, why do I need Creative Commons in the first place? You know, today I can easily share photos, YouTube videos, Facebook updates. Why do I need Creative Commons? And while it may be true that it's easy to share content online, there's really an ongoing problem with our existing copyright system. And that's because copyright law requires that you ask permission in advance in order to use someone else's work. This is really not well integrated with how the internet works, with how technology works, and with how society works today. It might have worked okay when there were just a few major publishing houses and you know who and how to ask for permission. But now everyone can have their own publishing house with the web. If we think about it, we're all copyright holders. You know, the minute I take a photo, uh, the minute I post a blog post online or record a piece of music, copyright attaches to it. And copyright covers all forms of creativity, including literature, music, architecture, even software. And copyright happens automatically the moment creativity is fixed in a tangible medium. In the United States, copyright lasts a really long time, too. Right now, uh, copyright lasts for the life of the author plus an additional 70 years. So this is where Creative Commons comes in to help make this negotiation of rights a little bit easier. Creative Commons is a some rights reserved approach to the default all rights reserved copyright regime. And Creative Commons grants permission in advance that allows creators to communicate how others can use their creative content. And it also makes it easier for those users to comply with the licenses. So many of you have probably seen the Creative Commons icons on some websites like Wikia, Flickr, or Vimeo. And I want to talk about the Creative Commons licenses themselves. You know, so creators who wish to apply a Creative Commons license to their work can do so by stepping through a simple two-step process. You can do this right on the Creative Commons website, which is creativecommons.org. Creative Commons licenses are comprised of basic conditions, which you can see on this slide. And these conditions include attribution, share alike, non-commercial, and no derivatives. So the first step for a user is to choose the conditions that they wish to attach to their creativity. All Creative Commons licenses require that attribution be given to the original author. And after that, licensors can choose additional conditions if they want. The share alike condition requires that users who incorporate content under a license containing this condition license their own published creations under the same license. A little bit later on, because this condition is contained in the license that Wikia uses, the CC Attribution Share Alike license. So the non-commercial condition prohibits commercial uses of, uses of the license content. And finally, the no derivatives condition requires that any downstream users not alter the licensed work. So after the creator has chosen the conditions that they want to apply to their work, the final step is to simply receive the license on our site. These conditions that users chose in the first step can be mixed into a limited set of configurations, resulting in the six licenses that you see here. And you can view a description of each of these licenses at creativecommons.org slash licenses. As a specific example, I license my photos on Flickr under the Creative Commons Attribution License, CC BY. This means that I grant permission in advance for anyone anywhere in the world to copy, to share, and to adapt my photos, even for commercial purposes 
as long as they give me credit as the original author. The Creative Commons licenses incorporate a unique three-layer design. These three layers consist of a legal code layer, a human readable layer, and a machine readable layer. And as you can see here, uh, with this tiny text, uh, each license begins as a traditional legal tool uh, in the kind of language that most lawyers know and love. We call this the legal code layer for each license. Um, other times it's called the lawyer readable license. And this is the legal document uh, that makes Creative Commons licenses enforceable in a court of law. Uh, right here you see the human readable layer. And since most creators and educators and scientists are not, in fact, lawyers, we also make the licenses available in a format that normal people can read and understand. And the human readable layer summarizes the key permissions and requirements that are contained in the legal code. And it makes them available in plain language and easy to understand icons. And you can think, about the, think of the human readable layer as a user-friendly interface to the legal code beneath it. The final layer is the machine readable layer. Essentially, this is the metadata. This metadata layer represents the permissions and requirements contained in the legal code in a way that software systems uh, and search engines can understand. The machine readable layer is really crucial so that search engines know that a particular piece of content, like a photograph, is licensed under Creative Commons. And we aggregate some of these uh, search interfaces via our general search at search.creativecommons.org. And at this site, you can, see, you can search across a variety of multimedia, including videos, um, photos, audio, and simple web text. So when you enter a search term and tick one of the filters, say the CC powered music search called Gemendo, uh, the search will only return music that is licensed under the specific CC license that you chose. And perhaps one of the most powerful tools we have is that Google itself indexes content based on whether a Creative Commons license is attached to it. This occurs in the advanced search interface at google.com. And when you go there, you can filter for CC license stuff and Google will only return those results. And we think this is really useful because then users know how they can use the content that they're searching for. It's great for teachers, students, musicians, really anyone. In addition to the six Creative Commons licenses that we looked at earlier, uh, we also provide tools in support of the public domain. And the public domain is a legal concept whereby content is free from all copyright restrictions. This means that anyone can use the content for any reason. So one of our tools is called CC0, and the other is called Public Domain Mark. The CC0 tool allows creators to waive all their rights and place the work directly into the public domain uh, before copyright expires. And the Public Domain Mark allows any user to mark a work as already being in the public domain. And this is really useful for really old creative works where it's clear that the copyright has already expired. Creative Commons licenses are applicable worldwide. So I can license my work under a CC BY license here in the United States, and anyone around the world can use it. Also, the Creative Commons licenses are localized in countries around the world. And when I say localized, I mean two things. First, the license is adapted to mold to the contours of that country's copyright law. And second, the license is linguistically translated into that uh, local language. So Creative Commons is 10 years old this year, and um, our current estimates uh, put the number of Creative Commons licensed works on the web at about 500 million. Creative Commons licenses are used by a wide diversity of individuals, of organizations, and really projects all around the web. Um, and CC is used including by artists and the cultural sector. Um, it's used by libraries and museums, um, in science and scholarly research, and by governments too, when they release data on, say, 
crime or traffic and health. Um, and educators also use Creative Commons licenses for things like instructional videos um, and lesson plans. Of course, these are really only just a few examples. Um, we have some other examples on this page um, showing that the Creative Commons licenses are integrated into really millions of websites and projects on the web, including big ones like YouTube, Wikipedia, uh, the news service Al Jazeera, the MIT Open Courseware, Public Library of Science, and many others. And of course, Wikia uses Creative Commons licenses. So let's jump into a, a more in-depth uh, description of the licenses themselves, since this is important in understanding what it means to license the work yourself or use someone else's Creative Commons licensed work. First, there's a set of permissions that apply to each and every Creative Commons license, no matter if you choose the most restrictive or the most liberal license. For example, all Creative Commons licenses give users permission to make copies of the work, to distribute or make the work available online, to display the work, to perform the work, to change copies of the work from one medium to another, and to incorporate the work into a larger collection. So we just mentioned what users can do with any piece of Creative Commons license content. Next, let's take a look at some of the things that users must do when they use someone else's Creative Commons license to work. Essentially, these are the directions that any user of a CC license to work must follow. First, uh, users of a Creative Commons licensed work must give credit to the original author. And users must attribute the original creator um, of any CC license work in the manner that the creator wishes. So on my Flickr photos, when others use them in their food blogs, they would credit me as uh, my Flickr username since I'm the creator. The next condition that users of CC licenses must follow is that they do not imply that the creator agrees with or sponsors the use of the CC license to work. And this is called the non-endorsement clause. So just because someone uses my photos of oatmeal raisin cookies on their cookie whips, they keep intact any copyright notice and any Creative Commons license information. So generally, a copyright notice consists of the copyright symbol. We all know what this looks like, a C with a circle around it and the name of the author and the date of the publication. Uh, as, and users must note which Creative Commons license the work is offered under. So an example is copyright 2012 Cory Doctorow. This work is available under a Creative Commons attribution license. The next condition that licensees must follow is to identify any changes that they make to the work if they make an adaptation. For example, this is a film adaptation of the novel Little Brother by Cory Doctorow, and it's available under a Creative Commons attribution license. The final thing is that any user of a CC license work can't add digital rights management, otherwise known as DRM, to the work that would prevent others from using the work under the license. So we've gone over some of the permissions available to users of CC license content. And next, we've gone over the condition that users must follow. There are just a few more things uh, to mention. And we'll try to run through these relatively quickly. First, Creative Commons licenses don't in any way affect limitations or exceptions to copyright, such as fair use. So this means just because a work is licensed under, say, a Creative Commons attribution license, it doesn't mean that users can't make fair uses of that content. Second, if the work is in the public domain and therefore not restricted by copyright, Creative Commons licenses don't change that fact. So we already discussed tools like the public domain mark, which allow users to mark works that are already in the public domain. Third, if a user violates the terms of the license, uh, the license terminates for that user. For example, if a user fails to give me attribution when they use my Flickr photo, then that user has breached the license and they can no longer use my work. 
Um, however, it should be noted that the license is still valid for other people to use. Fourth, creators are free to enter into other agreements uh, because the Creative Commons licenses are what's called non-exclusive. Fifth, the license lasts as long as copyright lasts. So we mentioned right now in the United States, copyright lasts uh, for the duration of the life of the author plus an additional seven years. So after that time, the work moves into the public domain. Six, the Creative Commons licenses can't be taken back. You can always remove the license, but if users have already accessed the work legally, then they can use it under the license. And the final point is just to reiterate that Creative Commons licenses are only copyright licenses. So, so Creative Commons licenses only affect the rights related to copyright, and they don't affect other rights. So for example, Creative Commons licenses don't affect uh, creators' rights like trademark rights, um, and they also don't affect publicity rights. So we're most interested in the Creative Commons Attribution Share-like license, uh, since this is the license that's used by Wikia. So let's just talk briefly about the specifics of the BY SA license. So first, the BY SA permits users to make derivative works. Users can adapt, translate, remix, and build upon your work. For example, a user could take your BY SA novel and turn it into a film, or translate your BY SA textbook from English into Swahili or they can make a painting from your BiaSA photograph. Next, BiaSA requires users to license derivatives under the same terms. So your work and everything based on it must be available on the same open terms to future users. So for example, the new film based on your BiaSA novel must be released under BiaSA. And the Swahili version of your BiaSA textbook must also be released under BiaSA. So users who create a derivative from content license under BiaSA may not release derivatives under the terms of any other Creative Commons license. So once it's under BiaSA, it has to stay under BiaSA. Next, BiaSA permits commercial uses. So users are free to sell your work as well as any derivatives they make based upon it. As an example, users are free to charge admission when they show your BiaSA movie, and users are also free to charge admission when they show their own movie based on your BiaSA novel. And finally, BiaSA does not require that collections be released under the same terms. So when a user adds your BiaSA work to a collection of other works, they don't have to release the entire collective work under BiaSA. As an example, users are free to add your short story to an anthology. And while your short story must still carry the BiaSA term, uh, the anthology as a whole could be released under uh, any other Creative Commons license. So when you create original content for a Wikia Wiki, you agree that your contributions are licensed under the CC BiaSA license. If you add add existing content to a Wikia wiki, it must be able to be included under the terms of the wiki. If someone makes an adaptation of your content, then that content must be licensed under BiaSA. And if pieces of your content are added into a collection, the entire collection doesn't need to be licensed BiaSA, but the individual pieces need to stay under the BiaSA license. So here's an example of uh, Wikia content, and as you can see, uh, uh, and here's an example of, this, uh, of the attribution. It says this work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Like 3.0 imported license. Well, I hope this information about Creative Commons and some of the ins and outs of the license has been really helpful to you. And we have a lot of great information on our website, which I mentioned is creativecommons.org. And we also have a wiki with uh, even more resources. That's wiki.creativecommons.org. And of course, there are plenty of vibrant communities that talk about, discuss, and even argue 
do about the specific licensing conditions and permissions and, and how to use the licenses. And Wikia obviously has a community, um, as you see here. So thanks a lot for having me, and I'll turn it back over to Sarah. Thanks, Tim. That was a really informative uh, presentation about CC licenses and Wikia's specific Creative Commons share-like attribution license. Uh, we really appreciate you sharing all of these details, um, and thanks everyone for attending. All this information can also be found on our community wiki, community.wikia.com, both the licensing as well as a recording of the session. So thanks for attending, and have a great day.